Welcome back to the Reflector channel. There's a surprise inside this box. It's a custom made gigantic two inch telescope eyepiece with a 52 millimeter focal length. It's custom because it was handmade by an amateur astronomer. And in this video, you and I are gonna test it. In the world of amateur astronomy, there is a subspecialty of folks that make their own eyepieces. It's almost hard to believe, but they have cracked the code of the eyepiece builders and they construct their own eyepieces using repurposed lenses that they get from things such as old binoculars. Binoculars that you can find either on eBay or on local used markets or in flea markets, anywhere really. If you are part of the telescope forums on Facebook, then you will invariably cross paths with the people that are involved in this really interesting part of amateur astronomy. Red Henry runs a Facebook group that's called A Second Look. In fact, he has a really interesting video that goes into detail uh, producing what has become basically his specialty design. It's called uh, Red's Double Plossel. And with a little bit of care and effort and a couple of old sets of binoculars, you can build it too. I've put a link to his video down in the description box. Now, another name that you'll come across is Steve Case. He runs a Facebook group that's called Stargazing with Steve. Steve made the custom two inch eyepiece that is in this box that we're gonna test out. Full disclosure, I've never actually seen in person or held a custom made eyepiece. So I'm actually really excited about this. Let's go over to the table and open the box. All right, so here is the eyepiece that Steve sent. Uh, this is pretty darn cool. Let's go ahead and see if we can open this up. This is a 52 millimeter eyepiece. That means that if you were to put this in a standard eight inch Dobsonian, you'll get a magnification of about 23 times. And if you put it in, uh, for example, my 12 inch Dob, uh, it'll be a 29 uh, times multiplication magnification. So uh, he's done a really good job taping this up. Let's see, I'll just fast forward through this. Okay, so here we go. The moment of truth. Right. Ooh, here's a little eyepiece. That's a bonus. Thanks, Steve. I didn't know that. This thing, it seems pretty big. This is very exciting. <laughs> okay, so it's a 52 millimeter focal length, two inch barrel on this guy. So it's a pretty beefy eyepiece. All right, he did an excellent job shipping this. Look at this. A bit of a puzzle here. Let me see if I can figure out where the end of this is. All right, you got some electrical tape. I know that um, in a lot of the production of these handmade eyepieces, uh, they use a lot of electrical tape. They use a lot of super glue and epoxy and electrical tape. So let's give it a try. Oh, it's even got a cap on it. Man, thanks. That's pretty professional. Let's see. Almost there. But, uh, oh, you know what? <laughs> Before we do this reveal, let's open up this guy. I'm very curious about this. This is a bit of a surprise. We'll check out both of these. Look at this. So this is an inch and a quarter barrel. They find sources of steel tubing that they use. And it fits pretty much in any focuser. Look at that. See, tighten it down. All right, this is going to be very exciting. We're going to give this one a try, too. I'm going to set that right now, right there. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate it. Let's open this guy up. This is the, this is the main event, I have to admit, because it's a gigantic eyepiece. All right. Let's get a close-up of this. All right. This is made up, oh my goodness, look how big that is, it's, it's giant, oh my goodness. Look at that, whew, oh my gosh, that is a big glass, look at that, wow. All right, so this is a 52 millimeter focal length, and you know what, the moon is out right now, let's, uh, let's go give this a look, okay? All right, let's go outside. So here we've got the 12-inch Dobsonian, and I've got it set up for two-inch eyepieces. 
So we'll put the, the handmade one in there. And we'll focus it. And that is amazing. The glass is huge. The image is huge. And it's super sharp and there's really, I don't see any chromatic aberration. <laughs> this is really, really neat. The image is so sharp and crisp, it's pretty amazing, and there's no chromatic aberration whatsoever. The edge of the moon is razor sharp. We of course still have the inch and a quarter eyepiece that is also handmade that Steve sent, so let's give this a try. That's also spectacular. I'm going to estimate it's about a... 20 millimeter focal length on that and it's got a nice big lens so everything on the moon is really sharp i'm very impressed with these handmade eyepieces as you saw in the previous segment of video i use the moon to test the quality of both eyepieces and telescopes i look for the edges of the moon to see if there's any discolorization or smearing of colors a chromatic aberration sometimes called and tonight, these eyepieces both showed very sharp edges, no color bleeding, and the craters on the moon were all very sharp. So they passed with flying colors. I say, uh, you know, uh, good job, Steve. You made fantastic eyepieces. I'll be proud to add these to my kit of frequently used eyepieces. And I have to be honest, I'm actually quite shocked that custom-made eyepieces are really this good. They really give the green fonted eyepieces a run for their money. So if you can get your hands on a couple of homemade eyepieces, or if you follow Red's video and just simply build your own, it is well worth your time and effort. Now, one thing I didn't show in the video is that I also looked through these at the M13 star cluster, and I also looked at the Andromeda galaxy. Unfortunately, due to the extreme light pollution here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, they were just still smudges. The real magic of this big one, and I want to talk about this big one right now, the 52 millimeter focal length on this one makes this one extra special. The real magic of this is that you should be able to see some of the larger targets in the sky all in one view. For example, you should be able to see most of the Andromeda galaxy. The Andromeda galaxy is actually pretty large if you can get to a dark sky site. And also, I believe you should be able to see all of the Pleiades with this particular eyepiece. The light pollution here, unfortunately, is a Bortle 8 and sometimes Bortle 9. You don't really see a lot of stars here anymore, just in the past few years. But I look forward to taking the telescope and this eyepiece to a dark site where I can really put it to a true test. But you know what? That's not the end of the story. Uh, Red Henry has been actually making these types of eyepieces and various combinations of these since the 1980s. And he actually has a program where he gives them away to amateur astronomers who cannot afford their own eyepieces. And just like Red Henry, Steve Case sent this to me to try out just because I had never actually used a handmade eyepiece. And what I can tell you is that these are amazing. You know, the longer that I'm in this hobby, the more impressed I am by all these wonderful folks that I get to cross paths with, such as Red and Steve. I mean, their only goal is to really get people excited and passionate about astronomy. And if you think about it, they're making the world a better place, one person at a time. With that, clear skies, everybody. Please like and subscribe. And if you like that video, then you know what? You might like these two videos, too. Give it a try.